So this is how our robot will look like when it is in the real life competition. And this game field is designed follow the specification and rule set for the group project. And this pink bucket is the storage bucket, the yellow ball is the ping pong ball, and the green bucket is the collecting bucket. So this is the mechanical design of our group ping pong robot. And the base robot car can be purchased directly from Cytron. And the upper part is our mechanical design for our robot arm. This robot arm has four degrees of freedom to allow it to move in different direction. And it is made up of four different server motor, which is the gripper server motor, left server motor, right server motor, and one and one base server motor, which is located below the platform of the robot arm. And I'll explain how the motion, what is the motion of the robot arm in the following picture. So this is the isometric view of our robot ping pong robot and the in front here is the gripping mechanism and this is the top view of our ping pong robot and this is the side view of it and this is the front view so first for gripping mechanism the grip it is made out of two different gripper and the gripper is connected to a gear and one of the gripper will be connected to a server motor this is the bottom view of the gripping mechanism. So because we use gear in our mechanical design, so it will move in opposite direction. So when the servo motor rotate this gripper, the other gripper will move in different direction to allow the gripper to grip the ping pong ball. So when the servo motor rotate in another direction, the gripper will open to drop down the ping pong ball into the desired place. So next is the motion. Right servo motor will control the up and down motion of the robot arm. So in this picture, when the right servo motor rotate anti-clockwise, the robot arm will raise up. While when the right servo motor rotate clockwise, the robot arm will lower down, as shown in this figure. And the left servo motor will control the forward and backward motion of the robot arm. So in this figure, when the left servo motor rotate anti-clockwise, the robot arm will move forward. While when the left servo motor rotate clockwise, the robot arm will move backward. So the base servo motor will control whether the robot arm move to the right or left. So when the base servo motor rotate clockwise, the robot arm will rotate to the right. While when the base servo motor rotate anti-clockwise, the robot arm will rotate to the left. Next, I'm going to explain on how our robot will operate in real life. So first of all, the robot will move to the storage bucket and lower down the robot arm and grip the ping pong ball. After gripping the ping pong ball, the robot arm will raise up, which make it higher than the storage bucket. After that, the robot car will turn around and move toward the collecting bucket. After it reaches the collecting bucket, the robot arm will lower down and the gripping mechanism will open and lift the ping pong ball there. So this process will repeat until the time's up. Next, the simulation of electronic part using Tinkercad. So here we are using the basic electronic part for the project such as Arduino Uno R3 we use the breadboard small and also the DC motor which is two DC motor we are using two DC motor and we also get IR sensor and also the L293 D which is also hash bridge motor driver next we also get the 9 volt battery next we also have micro servo 
which is four total in quantity to to move the robot arm and we also have the IR remote to control and remote the servo motor and also we have the wire so this is basically the electronic part that we use for our project and next I will show you the coding for the project this is our coding for the project as you can see that it is easy to find this coding uh, by using the internet and okay next we will move to and i will show you the part of simulation first we need to copy back the coding after that we press the start emulation button so the electronic part function as this when we press 0 the servo motor 1 will move and rotate if we press 1 the servo motor 2 will move and rotate if we press 4 the servo motor 3 will rotate if we press 7 servo motor 4 will rotate and we can, can also make the servo motor to turn left and right up and down as as we as followed by our order so next so as you can see the servo motor one is moving right now i'm pressing the zero button the system response is slow for Tinkercad so the servo motor is rotating very slow alright the IR remote is function to control the connected servo motor as followed by our order and to remove the robot and which is the main objective for our project is to collect the ping pong ball and put it back at the middle of the box so at the middle and in the box so I think this is the electronic part for this project so next I am pressing the 7 button and the servo motor number 4 is rotating right now so as you can see that it is easy to use Tinkercad and to design our own circuit and with that thank you for watching this video bye bye